Hey guys, something I'm extremely excited about. Uh, Lottie Files has actually introduced Figma to Lottie support now. So previously we just used to import Lottie animations directly in Figma, but now you can create your Figma animations and you can convert them to Lottie. This basically changes the game plan for animations because now you can rely on all the Figma animations that you're creating. So what you can do with, with this is you can basically auto animate a simple frame like this. You can also animate it with multiple frames. It's insane, just a single click. And I'm gonna show you how obviously it's not as clear here and there are certain things that you need to pay attention to. So I'm just gonna show it to you right now. So imagine you wanted to create a pulsing dot similar to what they've shown in the example. You're, you can create, let's say something like this. I'm gonna create three circles here. One circle, duplicate it, reduce it in size, duplicate it, and then reduce it in size again. So I'm gonna select all the three circles. I'm gonna give it a red color, something like this. I'm gonna reduce the opacity to 40% or something. Or maybe 20, and the middle color can be slightly bit, a bit more, 30. So there you go. Now you wanted to animate that as a pulsing dot. You basically open the Lottie Files plugin, you select the frame, and then you basically just go to export to Lottie option. So you go to the export to Lottie option, you say export to Lottie, and there you have your effect. If you want it to pulse, it can be something like this. Isn't this amazing? So you basically have a pulsing effect just from static layers that you've created. Now, if you actually wanted to do the whole animation yourself, figure out the delays, the timeline, the effects, and all of that, you can do that and you can create uh, a Lottie file from your own animation and not use these custom ones. So if you wanted to do that, I'm gonna do something else. Like the pulsing dot is just one example. I can actually go ahead and I can create, let's say a bell maybe. So I'm just gonna go ahead, uh, create a frame here. I'm gonna add a bell using font awesome. And you can obviously use a shape as well directly. Um, so here we have a bell. I'm just gonna increase the size to 50 pixels or maybe even more 80. And I'm gonna go ahead, add the border radius, change the color to something like this and this to white. Okay, so we have a bell here and maybe we wanna add some sort of a ringing. Um, so, or maybe just rotate the bell. So we're gonna say that it's gonna come here and then it's gonna come here. And I think that's pretty much the animation that we want. So it's gonna go here after and then it's gonna go and maybe obviously we wanna go ahead and add and a smart animate 300 milliseconds is let's probably add like yeah 300 or maybe 250 here and then here and then again 250 actually this should be 500 because it's completely rotating from the left to the right and then we basically go back off uh, and let's say 250 after a delay of zero seconds okay so i think that's pretty much done i'm just going to select all of them to make sure that all of them are using an after a delay of let's say zero seconds and let's see what this particular animation looks like. <clears throat> so it looks like this, which I think is pretty good. Okay. Uh, one thing I'd just like to note is sometimes Lottie files doesn't really work well with uh, maybe text-based layers, certain shapes, so on and so forth. So you just have to play around and see if everything is working as expected when you're trying to export it. But now that you have this animation, instead of choosing just a single frame, you can also choose the prototype flow. And once you select the prototype flow, you have something like this. So it's actually animating it. It isn't really perfect, obviously. Um, there's some weird stuff going on. It's like rotating really weird. Um, but yeah, you can figure it out. So basically you can animate flows like this as well. You can decide whether you wanna loop them or should it be just a one-time animation. Um, and yeah, just figure it out. One important thing that I'd like to highlight is imagine if you have a frame like this and then you have another frame inside of it. I'm just gonna change it to black, let's say, so you can see it. And then inside of this frame, you have a circle. So it's a simple circle, it's a simple frame. Now imagine if I was to create an animation like this and it goes from the left to the right. It's just a simple animation, right? I'm gonna go here, this is our flow two. I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna say after a delay of 800 milliseconds or maybe zero milliseconds should animate to this and maybe the speed should be 1000. So I'm gonna select my flow. Actually, let me just play it first. So as you can see, this works fine. At the very least, it looks fine. So now I'm gonna open the Lottie plugin again. Sometimes the flows don't update, so I just have to refresh the plugin. I'm here, flow two, and this is how it looks. So this is a problem that currently exists in Lottie. So it, as it mentions, preset selection is only for single frames. Obviously we're not choosing a preset selection, we're choosing a flow, but it still doesn't work. 
Um, I'm not sure how it's supposed to work. Maybe they're going to fix it. But if you want this to work, you have to remove the frame. So I have to now go ahead and remove this. Actually, instead of hiding it, I have to remove it and then remove this. So it's going to only work if you if you have an animation that has a single frame at the top level and you don't have any frames inside of it. If I have a frame, like I can have rectangles here as well. So I can change this rectangle to something like this. I can place this rectangle here. I can basically move it here. And that's also going to work because we basically have two shapes. It's going to work there. But if I had a frame instead of a rectangle here, I'm going to add a frame. I'm going to add a color to it, something like this. And then I'm going to place this same frame here and then I'm going to refresh it. So that's going to work. But if this particular frame in itself had these items inside of them, that's not going to work. So that's like really important because I'm just going to show how it works right now. So imagine you have basically both of these things located inside of this frame. And now I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to, let's say, remove them, go back here, place this frame here. Uh, maybe have this here and then have this here. If I try to refresh it, as you can see, nothing works. So ideally, you just need one single frame at the top, la top layer, and then you're animating things inside of it rather than having multiple layers or sorry, frames nested. So that's really important. One thing that I just wanted to know, you can now save it in your workspace on Lottie, or you can even insert this animation that you just did. So I'm just going to remove them and then I'm going to refresh. You can just insert this animation as a GIF directly in your Figma file. So I can say convert it to a GIF. It's really fast, honestly. And now if you were to have a look at this, I'm just going to go ahead. I'm going to go to the prototype view, add a flow so you can see this animation. So this is a GIF animation. That's basically your Lottie animation. Though obviously you wouldn't really do that because you basically created this animation directly within Figma. Why do you want to use it as a GIF? but just in case. So that's pretty much it. Do subscribe to hit the bell icon. Let me know if you found this video interesting and if you're excited about Lottie uh, being directly available with Figma animations, which pretty much excites me. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. I'll see you later. Take care. Bye.